Hello and welcome back to Forge by Geeks playing Charterstone. We are heading into, I guess, game three of 12 of this. Um, we decided that uh, not to actually stream it going forward because, one, we didn't really get great interaction and I think it was distracting us too much from actually trying to hold a conversation around the table while playing the game or something like that. But either way, we're going to just record it going forward and post it online uh, as we have them. And we hope people like it. Uh, last game, a couple of our viewers did a great job of noticing a fuck up. We apparently managed to skip one of Jeremy's turns. <laughs> <laughs> um, which we didn't think we did. So, uh, by happenstance, Jeremy said, oh, it didn't really matter because I just would have gotten one more resource token. Well, he was one point off of getting another star. So, one resource token ended up actually being pretty critically important. So, Jeremy's getting another right. star. Right, so, marking it off now, off of the, um, whatever these are. Okay. Okay. The star cards, whatever they are. Uh, oh god, I forget what those are called. This is the problem with playing only once a month. We forget the names Advanced of everything. Yeah. Cards. How do the rules work again? No, I got yeah, so Who goes first? Okay, <laughs> okay so uh, the first rule that we have to do is inactive charters. Okay. So this was a new rule. Ooh. To keep the village growing at a steady pace, follow these steps once per each inactive charter with at least one open plot. Any order. Shuffle the advancement deck, then reveal cards until you find an unconstructed building card. Okay. Okay. So we're going to start with this Oops. one. Okay. With Forge! Yes, with Forge. Oh, that's going to change things. All right. Okay. Unconstructed building. Unconstructed building. Well. Wow. Are there none in there? There are cards in there. I know there are. Watch your fingers. Is, am I looking Wait, through the that... right deck? No, these no are all, those are people. These are peeps. You got your peeps? Ah. There you go. Um, clubhouse. I don't know which area it's for. Okay. Doesn't matter. It's for this. It'll go like, here. Like, wherever it is, we were for each inactive charter. So Forge was first. So we're just putting that into Forge. Oh, okay. All right. So what's next? Um, are, you, is, are you sure that's how it works? Because we were, like, placing cities into specific... Once per each inactive charter with at least op one open plot. Okay. Forge is an inactive charter with an open plot. Right. Um, construct the building in the inactive charter on an open plot. That is the only building in the deck. <laughs> wow, seriously? Yes. Okay. Apparently we all did a great job building and keeping the building. Uh, so cards. that one was mine, actually. Aww. That was the one that I had to give up because I couldn't keep an extra card in my wow. hand. So. Oh yeah, it is brick. You're right. It would have been a brick to construct. So now all you'd have to do is get So that the... goes back into the deck. That's what I thought. Okay. And you can still charter stone that to open the lockbox. Yeah, but you'd have to get it out of the achievement deck or the advancement deck by uh, however the fuck you get things out. Uh, the market. Out you, the market. A gold yes. and a resource to get an advancement card. A gold okay. and a resource to get an advancement card. Okay. Yes. Wow. Now. But remember, you can only carry. I can carry two forward to future games. Right. right. Set up. Peril. You can no longer ignore the problems that threaten your village. Luckily, you have the skills to save the village. Set up. Place one peril token at random on all buildings in charters. Oh, boy. Eh, let's not lose any of these. So it's one at random. Yes. Okay. Mm. This should be pretty easy to randomize, given that they're so tiny. Yeah, just about. Okay, so I will just go around. So Does red... the cloud port count? Uh, what does it say on each building? On all buildings in charters. In charters. Okay, so Cloudport would not count. Yeah, so note, uh, red is bandit, black is fuel shortage, blue is disrepair, green is vermin, purple is blight, and yellow is famine. I don't remember, recall there being any negatives to picking those up. No. Uh, gain peril. When you use a building with a peril token on it, after you gain the benefit, you must also gain the peril token. This is a good thing. So you can spend peril tokens, like uh, yours. Yep. Two, per two fuel shortage to gain four victory points. Okay. Okay. So now create piles of corn's resources and real reveal five random advancement cards on the mat. Yay! Great. Um, yeah. 
Oh, a guest. A guest. And whenever we hit the uh, recycle thing, um, it, with three players, we gain both a gold and a wood if you have him. Okay. Whenever that hits. So there would be three opportunities to leverage that. I think that might be specifically um, guest because it's got the, the same... Um... No, this is... You use this to take a guest explicitly. Mm -hmm. So instead of just taking an, any advancement card, you can use this for cheaper to get a guest. That's what I'm saying. Uh, another crate. Oh, wow. Another crate. Wow. Those are the original crates from yeah. the NX. Yeah, and... Uh, we've got another guest. You get a victory point and an iron whenever the recycle thing hits. All right. Interesting. Okay. So, and let us all remember that wood is wood. Is the wood. <laughs> yes, wood. it is. Just get wood. Okay. Our game has personality. Mm -hmm. So, reveal three random objective cards. Okay. Amass wealth. So, six, six gold. gold. Uh, build your reputation, have at least three influence tokens on the reputation track, and pay your dues, have at least three influence tokens on the quota track. So this. Wow. Okay, but our objective, our guidepost, is to have score the fewest objectives, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what counts as objectives? These. Oh! Yes. <clears throat> In these early stages of village building, the Forever King encourages you to focus on progressing the village through construction and unlocking crates. No problem there. Yeah. You're still adjusting to the frequent communication you receive from the Forever King. Before you moved out here, the closest contact with him was through tax collectors. <laughs> Why does he care so much about your little village? And the title of the card is Score the Fewest Objectives. Now, we did get an upgrade from our last session, so we picked up some premium tokens. <clears throat> um, online. These are pretty nice. No, this is not sponsored or anything like that. We just have way too much money sometimes, not really, and like to spend it on uh, silly uh, additions to games. So, yeah, we'll be using these so you might see these flying around a little bit um, uh, while we play. Okay, determine the first player by rolling the charter stone until it results in an active charter. So, will I have to roll like 20 times like last time? Probably. <laughs> Because I'm so good at rolling dice. Red. No. Yay. First try. All right. All right. From your charter chest, select one persona card. Okay. I have selected the perfumer. So whenever you bump an opponent's worker, you may retrieve your other worker or gain one VP. Say that again. Whenever I bump an opponent's marker, I may take back one of mine from anywhere on the board or gain one VP. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. What are you taking? Um, restaurateur. Uh, whenever you retrieve workers, gain two VP if you retrieve at least two chefs. Oh, so you'd have to get a second chef. Uh, gee, I wonder what you're going to be going for. Any ideas? Hmm. Are you, are you going for another chef? What does the chef do for you again? Uh, the chef, whenever you place a chef, or an opponent uses your chef's building, you may regain one influence. Ah. That's right. You had, like, the massive amount of influence. Mm -hmm. I am going to choose the innkeeper. Whenever you use a building to gain a guest card, gain one VP and one dollar. Hmm. And I have a golem. Okay. So, now to start thinking strategy. Yeah. <laughs> eh, strategies for what, losers. What, are you just starting? <laughs> I had to set up the game. Mm -hmm. Okay. Something like that. So, I am going to... Um, take this peril token. Okay. And I need to spend an influence. Yep. And, and one. the gold. Except I am an income innkeeper, so give me the gold back, and I gain one VP. Ah, nice. So how does that work again? Whenever you use a building to gain a guest card, gain one VP and one dollar. Oh, nice. And I am going to take the Lord guest. What does he do again? If there. Oh, are... the recycle for a gold and a. Uh, yes. And wood. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Nice. Okay, Jeremy. Hmm. That's what, a gold and a good? 
for uh, for a an advancement. Good yeah, for a gold, a uh, gold for a gold yes. good for an advance for a yeah, gold is oh, yeah. good for oh, advancement. Sorry. Oh, I'm so yeah, sorry. so you could just oh. get an advancement right now. I have another guest. Yeah. Be my guest. So same thing with a gold and a uh, brick. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or a victory when, point and iron. Um, at the end of your turn, no, it's not whenever you have a turn you advance the progress track. You no. only advance the progress track when you build or score, I think. No, when you build or, or uh, stone. Yeah. And or if you're out of influence tokens. Yes. Okay. All right, that sounds good. Market, so gold, very good. I will also pick up a guest. <laughs> nice. All right, this one just gives you a victory point, it looks like. And that's a that? friend. That's a friend. Yes. Whenever you use a building in, in this, this charter, charter to gain VP, gain one VP. So green specifically. Okay. Ah, Which is it's wood. not going to be that interesting. Yeah, that's not super interesting yet. Oh. Because nothing in there gains VP. Correct. All right. Okay, so my first action. Um, let's see. I'm going to start by giving myself a pumpkin. Yay! Pumpkin! That's it. Okay. I'm actually going to play on the clubhouse again and spend another influence to grab the knight. And I don't actually have to spend the gold and the... Another friend. Whenever you use the Zeppelin, gain two VP. Oh. Uh, that's an assistant, not a friend. Assistant? Oh, sorry. Assistant. Ah. There's so many of these. Yes. And he's worth two victory points. Looks, I, I guess he's worth two victory points at the end of the game? No, I think that's just the scoring. We'll need to check that. Yeah. I, I think that's just... Whenever you use the Zeppelin, you gain two victory points. Right. He has a two victory point in the corner. He's got that's two victory point. Yeah, oh, no, okay. no, no. That's to identify what the benefit is. I'm yeah, like sure. if you notice the uh, crates are in the upper corner on the other ones. Okay. Let's make sure. All right, okay. uh, my turn? Yep. All right. I'm... No, 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 no. You don't have to go again. <laughs> <laughs> We're not skipping another turn. Um... Yeah, they give you a bonus when you perform a core function of the village. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to place my chef on the granary. Oh, okay. Spend an influence to get a wheat and a gold. And since I placed a chef, um, I get an influence point back. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, him with his ah. fucking influence. Uh -huh. It's anywhere you place a chef, right? Chef, I can only place and chefs in my take charter. take the peril. Oh, okay. And I take the peril. Okay. Yeah, your, your, your um, minions can only go into your charter. Ouch. Mm -hmm. you feel free to double check, but I, I remember no, that being No, it wrong. is true. Right. No, that sounds about right. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to play into the mine. Mm -hmm. and yeah, I know what you're going for. No. What would I ever be going for? <laughs> so is that that? Yep. Uh, I am going to play on the clay pit. Take my second peril token, which I have basically no use for except for going to the cloud port. And a brick. And a brick. Thank you. I am. Oh, wait. What? Um, I am going to use my gold okay. on the clay pit instead. And that means that I gain a resource, any resource that I want. Oh. Um, all right, it doesn't matter. Uh, I will go for a uh, uh, pumpkin, I guess. There you go. Because whenever I place a golem or an opponent uses my golem's building, gain any one resource. Alright, I am going to um, play on the alchemist lab. Okay. Spend a gold and an influence to get a wood and a brick. Nice. And take the peril token. Okay. 
I am going to play on the guard tower. Take my peril token, spend two brick, and get me a minion. Where are the minions? Which one do you need? The golem. Okay. So I have another golem. Alright, I will collect. Okay. Um. I will play on the clay pit. Uh, uh, I gain a resource. Does that bump your golem? No. Oh, never mind. <laughs> um. Okay, I will just do the obvious mm -hmm. and spend the two to get four points. Play on the kiln, gain a peril. Spend an influence and get two brick. Okay. And uh, two brick and uh, the. Um, what do I want to get for my last thing? Uh, I'll get another brick actually. Brick, All brick, the brick, bricks! Brick, brick. All right, I'm going to place my chef on the field to get the wheat and take back my influence. Okay. Um, how do I want to do this? Okay, I'm going to play on the coal market, spend a uh, coal to get two gold. Okay, uh, I collect all of my guys. Going for the Zeppelin. Okay, so that's three, three influence and two wheat, a brick, and wood to place the bakery. Awesome. So, should I... I'll go ahead and show it on right. screen briefly. So it's a two gold for a cook and a victory point. Uh, excuse oh. me, that is chef. Or chef. <laughs> cook, chef, what's All the right. difference? That goes down here, right? Anywhere you want in one of those three. Yeah. Yep. In my charter? Yes, in your charter, not in wood. Not in wood. Not in wood. There you go. All right. And then I keep this. Yes. So. And because you did a thing, we move the progress turn. And I get five victory points? Yes. Yes. Okay. Play on the brick market. Okay. Take myself another peril token, spend a brick, and get a gold and a victory point. Okay. Thank you. I'll get my. Oh, wait. Oh, hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Not so fast. <laughs> All right. Coal. Coal? He's doing it again. Ah. Oh. Actually, I'll bump you. Mm -hmm. I'll take a coal. And I get a victory point. Sorry. I 
I will put a golem from the clay pit, which will get me a brick and a coal. And a coal? Yes. Mim mim. All right, I will go to the, is that the coal market? Yes. And I will take coal, get two gold. Can it bump me again? Tempted. Hmm. Yeah, why not? All right. I'll bump you again. I should actually take this off the board because he was not in the grand. Correct. Stand. All right. My turn? Yep. That was the one I booted. Blink. Another chef, please. And a victory point. I'm not seeing the chefs. You must have gotten them, man. Cause... Oh, I know. Hmm. The chef is the bluish one, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I might have accidentally put that away. Yes, I did. I thought it was one of the resource tokens. <laughs> Which it is not. Nope. Well, you won't be making that mistake anymore. No. Hey. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. I will play over in the cave. And get myself an iron. All right. Um, I will play. Oh shit. Um, I'm going to collect. Okay. No, I have not. Okay. I'm going to play a chef on the greenery. Influence for a green and a gold. Take back an influence. Um, now, n just for note, mm -hmm. um, we might want to be careful with that. I think you uh, have to take back the influence immediately upon playing, and okay. then you recover at the end of your turn. Uh, so I think we screwed up your first round. Says whenever you place a chef, uh, chef you may you may regain one influence. Does it change about the timing? No, but I believe that that's how it's supposed to work. You're All supposed right. to play, do that first. No, it's not an issue because yeah. you have three out there. Uh, okay. You get the benefit after you have completed using the building. Oh, it is. Okay. It is. So it's like there is some timing there, but it's basically you play, you receive the benefit from the building, and then you receive the benefit from the card. Okay, so you were doing it right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay, cool. My turn. Mm hmm. Nicole? Um, I am going to play on the first one. So all of my precious gold goes away. Okay. And uh, two of my influence, and I turn in 36. Okay. So 36. Um, read second. Oh, that's because card numbers are different. Never mind. Um, brain. Okay, so we already pulled 36 from here. Let me make sure I'm looking at the right card. We yeah. pulled all the cards from 36. And 37. And hold on. Oh, okay. That sounds... I'm sorry. <laughs> Nothing? Nothing? <laughs> you acquire the armory, um, which is number 83. It uh, is two of the red cubes. For four victory points. Okay. Wow. Um, then you gain a new persona. The guard, if your worker picks up a bandit token, the red token, you may immediately retrieve that worker and gain one VP. Whoa. <laughs> And this gets added to the objectives uh, deck. Have it's at least six peril tokens. Okay. And, oh, did we not open that one yet? I think we opened number one. 
Yes, we have open number one. Okay, that is it. Jeremy. My turn. I'm going oh, to... wait. Advance this, I believe, right? Yes. Uh, yes. So you have the option of putting a token on the boat. I can put a token on the boat? Yeah. Because it was her turn when we... Yeah. All right. When it advanced. All right. Okay. Now it's my turn? Yep, now it's your turn. I will collect for two victory points, please. You get two victory when you collect? Whenever you retrieve workers, gain two VP if you retrieve at least two chefs. Oh, yes. I retrieved at least two chefs. <laughs> nice. Okay. Did uh, you get your five victory points for... I um, did not. Charter Stoney? Thank you. Because mm -hmm. I forgot about that. Ah, yes. That's an important one. Oh, yes. Okay. I am going to play on the cloud port. Okay. I am going to spend three peril tokens. And get a boat. Okay. All right. Oh, and I get three immediate victory points. Oh, right. Oh. Your turn. <laughs> You're doing fine. I'm doing great. Um. Play on the clay pit, I get a brick and a coal. Okay. So we get, is this who has the most or who is in front? Who has, uh, the, who most? has the most? Right. And as if you're tied, then that's good. All right. Yes. Um. Is that your turn, is it? Mine. Wait, are you sure about that? Oh, no, that? wait, no. No, it's yours. <laughs> Stop doing that. <laughs> I'm right. so used to playing after her, Kingdom Death Monster and all that. Okay, so what was I doing? Oh yeah, I'm gonna put a chef on the grain market. Uh, turn in wheat to get gold and influence on the reputation track and take an influence back because okay. it's a chef. Hmm. So let's see. Planning a few turns ahead, I think. Or I'm thinking about doing so at least. Mm. Um, oh, think about naming your characters? Yeah. Why would you ever want to do that? Okay. I'm going to. What do I want to play? Um. I'll play in the kiln. I am going to play in the brick market. Which so you spend a brick? I spend a brick. I get a gold and a victory point. Yep. And I also get a um, iron. Why do you get an iron? Because I played. Oh, golem. Um... Alright, I'll play my chef on the granary. Spend an influence to get a wheat, gold, and take back my influence. Okay. Oh. Uh... And then I think I have to collect Nicole. Uh, 
play on the Zeppelin. I spend three influence and an iron, two bricks, and a coal. Okay. And that's going to be five points. And I'm going to place the armory. Sounds good. What does it do? Uh, two red peril oh, tokens for four victory points. Okay. Jeremy, hmm. you're up. Does the um, progress track move? Yes. Yes. So you get the recycle things on your characters, too. I get a gold and a brick. Okay. What do you get? Oh, that's the recycle? Yeah. I get a gold, a uh, wood, an iron, and uh, a victory token. For victory point. Okay. Alright. Um... I will place on the armory. Gee, I didn't see that one coming. Two here, here. red perils for four victory points. There you go. Okay. I will... Now, what happens if you have a golem on a space and you play one of your people there? Do you boot off the golem? Uh, no. no. I get a resource and the golem stays. Well, yeah. no, if you have your own golem and you place your own character on it. I don't think... I don't think you can bump yourself off. You can't bump yourself, and you can't... So, I'm not entirely sure. Um, it says any player may place a regular worker on the building. Ah, okay. So, I can place a one on that, and it won't get bumped, I guess. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Okay. I am going to go to the guard tower and get myself a golem. Because you're like, I need to get in on this minion action. Oh, I've been planning to do it for a while. It's just a matter of oh, yeah. what order of operations. Right. Yeah, I'm not saying that you're a follower. It's just like, I mean, you need a minion because if you don't have a freaking minion, then... Yeah, and it was a question of do I try to unlock my own minion as a priority or do I mm -hmm. guarantee I get one? Okay, so I need to collect. Mm -hmm. And now that you vacated the Charter Stone... You could have booted her. I could have. <laughs> so, two influence. Yep. Four gold. For trait number 52, please. And five victory. And five victory points. Here, give me the card. Oh. Also 36, which we already got, and 37, which we got, I believe. Yep. I double check just to be sure. Yep. And then you get 119. Yeah, whenever he starts like that, it's like, are you telling me? Like, have you seen that, that gif okay. of the crate coming down and just falling apart and there's <laughs> nothing in it? <laughs> yes. Pastry shop. Two yellows in order to get four victory points. Nice. Okay. Then 335. I can find 335. A baker. So now you have the baker that I was talking about. Um, no, I said cook. Um, if, you, if your worker picks up a yellow famine token, you may immediately retrieve that worker and gain a VP. So same as what Nicole got, but mm. a slight change. And then 334, which I should have grabbed while I was there which is a new objective, um, have at least four different types of peril tokens. Okay. All right. So that's interesting. That gets added to the deck. And then also would have opened box one, which we already opened. Okay. So these go into the archive, which I should have been doing. So did we already move this? Uh, no, not for this one. Okay, um, now when I place a golem, here, I need to see that now too. No problem. Uh, and I can only place them in my area. Yes. Um, when you place in a golem or a point of user building, gain any one resource. Okay, so, with that in mind, let's see, how do I want to do that? Okay, that 
Shoot. Work. Okay, I will place in the mine. I get a coal, and I will take another iron. Or actually, no, I will take a second coal. Actually having coal. Shit. Well, you can go play on mine and give me a resource too. I, yeah, that's nice. <laughs> uh, there are so many better things that I could be doing instead of that. No, so, there aren't. That's no, perfect. There really are so many better things that I could be doing. Oh, you're running that. out of influence tokens. Yes, so I am. Game's over when somebody runs out, right? No. No? This keeps ticking every time their oh, turn ends. Okay. Or, yeah. And I play a brick and I get a gold from that. And a victory point. Um, why did you gain a coal too? And I get a coal because I placed a, uh, a golem. Oh, I thought you placed this guy. No, okay. I'm not yellow, man. Yeah, oh be, yeah, that duh. That would be me. Yeah, duh. Kay. Doing great. Right. Jeremy. I collect for two victory points. Okay. Whoops. Ah. There. Okay. Um, now I'm going to play on the zeppelin. I spend the four resources, which are two coal, a wood, and an iron. And I get five victory points. And I put down a hoist tower, which uh, spend an influence to get a coal and a gold. Okay. You're running out of space in this chart. I think that's the point. Oh, it definitely is. But... All right. Um, oh, oh and you, that costs three influence. Yeah. Did you advance the... Uh, no, I did not. Okay. I play on the coal market and spend the coal to get two gold. There you go. Thank you. I will play Chef on the grain market, one wheat or a gold, and an influence on the reputation track. Okay. And then I'll take a reputation back. Okay. I collect. I play on the trigger stone. Four gold. Okay. And two influence. Two influence. And that's going to put me one on the reputation track, though it doesn't really matter. I'll do that later. Okay. So that moves the progress track. Did you move me? Uh, uh, I guess. Five? Thank yeah. you. Okay, so 37 is 84 and 301. By the way, this is you may. Yes. Oh, okay. 84. You unlock the courthouse. Uh, spend a minion to get four gold. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's kind of disturbing when you think about it. <laughs> you send your minion. Yeah. <laughs> You're sending your minion to the courthouse and they're paying you for it. Yeah, that is kind of weird. Okay, looking for 301. I think that's what it was. 37, 301. We go. A strong arm. When using a building with an opponent's minion on it, ignore the minion's ability. Oh wow. It is a persona. Yes. Wow. 
Okay. Yes. Jeremy. Uh, and then... Do you want to spend that? Uh, yeah. Okay. Is that your last, uh... Yep. Yep. All right. So we have at least six rounds left. Yes. Possibly seven. Place a chef on the granary, get a wheat, and a gold. Um, and I spend an influence, and then I get it back. Alrighty. Going to spend my minion on the mine. I will take a coal and an iron. So at the start of my turn... Actually, two coal. Since I have no influence... Is that at the start? I thought it was at the end. It is at the start, if I remember correctly. Okay. Uh... Whenever a player begins their turn with zero influence tokens, they must advance the progress token one space before taking their turn. Okay. So I get a gold, a wood, a victory point, and an iron. I get a gold and a brick. And I'll do the victory point for you. Thank you. Alright. Um, now it's your turn. Yes, now it is my turn. Oh, so more horrible anime has come out. Magical Girl Sight. Another Magical Girls Killing Each Other anime. <laughs> it's a thing. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen Madoka Magica? No. Okay. I will get a brick and a wheat. Alrighty. I'm going to go to the cloud port. Okay. Um, and I will trade... Hmm... Uh, influence, spend an influence. Spend an influence. And gain I, three victory points gain right away. Three victory points right away. And then which what do I want to spend? Spend two gold. Okay. Give me oh, uh, give me the influence token. Alright, that's right. And you did two gold. I assume you want the extra victory point. Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm up. I will also go to the Cloud Port, kick your ass off. All right. I get one victory point for kicking you off. I get three for going there. You um, get one for, oh, one for kicking me off because of your... Yeah, my persona. Ah. And I spend three resources and... Get a boat. Boat. All right. Advance. Yep. And I had to collect. Okay. Jeremy. I'm going to um, Alchemist Lab. And an influence and a gold for a uh, wood and a wheat. Okay. I'm going to go to the charter stone, spend two influence, and I get five victory points, or oh, four gold as well. I get five victory points. Okay. 23. So I'm stacked with you, yep. And I open crate number 15. I'm hoping that's that... That's a low lumber crate. I'm thinking that this is my minion. Uh, this is the one that was the low one that you guys did quick and I decided to do expensive shit. Mm-hmm. So, 33. <sighs> is already gone. 34 is already gone. 234. I'm noticing a trend here. When you do the low shit later, you don't get anything. 
Ah, yes, this is my minion, the ghost. Whenever you place a ghost or an opponent uses your ghost building, you may gain one reputation. Oh, wow. That's uh, weird. I can just basically own yeah. the boat. That's on a boat. interesting. Yes. So I get a little ghost figure. And then... So wait, you get a, you gain a reputation? Yeah. But he has to spend his influence, so he has to spend for influence it. on it. Yep. And then um, forty five and two thirty five. Well, there I'll do that, but I'll pull up forty five first. Forty five is likely my new building. Yes, it is. A haunted house. <laughs> spend two coal uh, coal to get a ghost. All right. So that's kind of amusing. And then I get a new persona, a medium. It has something to do with ghosts, I'm guessing. Whenever you retrieve workers, gain two VP if you retrieve at least two ghosts. Sounds familiar? No, doesn't sound familiar at all. <laughs> Alright, so you advance the progress track. Yes. Advance the progress track? Oh, yes. Track. Uh, yes, that does. And then I advance the progress track. Yep. And I can't place a reputation. Okay. Why do you advance the progress track? Because her it's turn. the start of my turn, oh, and I have right. no influence. Yeah. I am influenced less. I spend two gold for a uh, victory point. Oh, we're all tied up. And uh, chef. Oh, you get a chef as well. Yeah. And you get a chef. And you get a chef, and you get a chef. I will Zeppelin. Influence, two wheat, a wood, and a brick for a pastry shop. Nice. What does it do? Um, two yellow peril cubes for four victory points. Oh, nice. And none of us have two yellow peril cubes. Okay, you're all done? Yes. I got uh. five victory points. Okay. And that advances the progress track. Oh, yes. Which means I get... Nope. It's my, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I get did. a gold, a wood, a victory point, and an iron. Which is ridiculous at this point. Victory point for Nicole. Mm -hmm. Red. Okay. Somehow I feel like I probably don't quite need all of the stuff that I have right now hmm. for this strange feeling. No. So I only have two turns left at most. You could potentially have one turn if Nicole can advance the progress track twice. Yeah, a, or you progress it, mm -hmm. either way. But I only have two turns at most. Mm -hmm. So now it's a question of what do I do with those two freaking turns? Um, I'm just trying to figure out if Nicole can advance the progress track. I think she could if she really forced it, but because she has a lot of resources. Mm -hmm. But it's always hard to say. Um, Hmm. Things didn't go quite according to my plan, but... No, it is actually not possible for me to advance the progress track. That's what you say now until you go, oh, I see it now. No, there's only three things that can do it, and all of those I know, I'm just teasing. tokens. Oh, they do? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, because they wouldn't want you to be able to force that, generally speaking. Uh, that makes sense. 
Okay. Um. So I'm probably not going to get to do what I'd really want to do. So I think I'm going to play in my haunted house. That'll get me a coal and a gold, which I can carry forward into the next turn mm -hmm. at a cost of one influence. And then because when you place your ghost, you may gain a reputation. There goes my last. <laughs> and that, that'll be your last turn? Yep. Well, no, it may not be my. Oh, yeah. No, no, because it, it advances at the start of your turn, but I think you still get to complete your turn. Um, it, it, the, it completes the round, I thought. Oh, right, right. So, so who started? I no, started. no. Oh, yeah, yeah. She went first. Right. So how does that um, work? You wouldn't think that it would be this. Yes. You're pointing to the thing that tells you what to do at the end of the game, not it does not tell you what the oh. end of the game is. Ah. Uh. Plus glory capacitor. Here, well, why don't you take your turn and I'll see if I can find it. Okay. So, harvest stuck in waves. Um, Story. Sorry to be thinking so carefully, but you know, since it's the last turn. Yes. It's alright. Or it could be the last turn. Did you go? No, it just it kind of matters what I do. If this is my last turn, it kind of oh. matters. Yeah, all it says is um, end game scoring, player order, game VP, and reputation, and persona cards with that symbol. I'm having trouble finding that symbol anywhere else. Yeah. I would have expected it would have been during one of these. The Are we missing one of the rule books? There's a, there is another rule book. There's the auto Automa rule yeah. book. Um. Let me double check and see if there's another generic. I don't think there is, but worth a check. Yeah, we just have the other Chronicle book from the expansion pack, which is not very useful. We did this before. It's an amazing concept. Yeah. Could you imagine, like, the person watching this, like, the creator watching this game, basically like, what the f*** is wrong with you people? Like, how can you not understand how to do this? I mean, even if it is, everybody gets the same number of turns since Nicole started, this would be your last turn. Yeah. Uh, so, at most, Tony gets to complete his turn. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I, I think that's reasonable. Let him, let him take his turn. Oh, huh? 
Like, yes, he's yeah. going to be she taking his she turn. There is a way that I can push, possibly push it out. Oh, but really? It's relevant. Oh, okay. Because. Yeah. What? Oh! I have a chef! I see. Yes. So, there is a relevant way to do stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, I will get a brick, or I will spend a brick for a gold and a victory point. Okay. Uh, I will collect for two victory points. Okay. Getting me to 30. Oh, I should have gotten an influence back because I placed a chef, mm -hmm. right? That's the way it works. That's the way it works. It. Yep. So I now have an influence. Do, 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 do. Hold on one second. Um, here's the fact for the game. I don't know if that'll be useful. So now it's my turn. I don't think I can do a whole hell of a lot because I don't think I have any tokens. Except advance the progress track. Yes. Which... It would have progressed at the start of my turn. Mm -hmm. So, worst case, I would have collected, so the game would be over. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Okay. Here. Let's wrap up. Okay. All right. So. Let's see. I get... the rule book, so if we want to follow yeah, the steps. Yeah, let's follow the steps. Okay. So, process the current guidepost. Okay. So... I will, can I, may I do the honors? Yes. Sure. Uh, okay. At the end of the game, any players who achieve the guidepost gain one glory. So uh, all of us are the same because none of us scored any objectives. Oh, yes. That's a good point. I need a pen. Thank you. Okay. So all of us gain one glory, because we all got the least number of objectives. Okay, so among those players, the player with the most influence tokens in their personal supply, which was indeed you at the time, reveals the options on the guidepost and then chooses one of the options Wait. and opens the corresponding crate. The okay. most in their personal supply. I was out. I have five. You probably have the most in your personal supply. Influence Almost tokens. Almost influence tokens. I have influence. two. Yeah, he has two. I have none. I have two. The most influence tokens. So he reveals it. Yeah, Is yeah. That... You were pointing at me to reveal it. You said I had five. No, I didn't say that. Okay. Okay, so the person who has the most influence tokens. Yeah, reveals it. Reveals like, it. it was supposed to be the person who revealed it. So, uh, okay. yeah. So, so now you choose an option. Okay. Happy King or Angry King. All right. If you would like to include the end of campaign building values when calculating VP totals. Oh, wow. That's open, these crate, open crate C. Okay. If you would prefer not to have the building values factor into this game's score, open crate D. So we each get to score our charter stone, apparently. Well, it depends. Yeah. You make a decision. Yeah. Kid. You make the decision for the game. All right. Well, I'm. Do I get to count the points first? <laughs> if you want to count. If the you points, really you want can. to. But yeah. you said end of game scoring. Yeah. It's oh, end of no relevant. end of oh end of campaign. Oh. Yeah, oh, it's oh. end of campaign. End of scoring. campaign. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, end of campaign. Which is just basically this stuff. Yeah, I know. That's funny. So I could choose to not. Yes. <laughs> yep. That would be kind of a jerk move, I think. Let's. Well, it's not a jerk move. Mm -hmm. It's just how you want to play the game. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think we include the. I think we include the building values. Okay, okay. so we'll open part C. Crate C. So crate C, one twenty nine. That's really interesting. Yeah, that is. Rule one twenty nine progression story seven. The Forever King appreciates that you've made the choice to focus on progression, as he needs the village to grow at a rapid pace to remain on schedule. Follow these instructions in order. Scoring. During the end game scoring for the current game only, each player includes the end of campaign value of buildings in their charter in their VP total. 
So let's total those up. Hey, no, it was, I was pointing out something valid. It just yes. turned out not So valid. I get plus 23. You get plus 23. So you are at 23. So you're at 46. Yep. I literally doubled. Uh, I get 23. You get 23. So you are at 48. I get... Uh, Probably 23. Uh, 23. Yep. Uh, okay, so it was equal across the board. So I get to go 53. Okay. Okay. Um, so that's funny. We each had 23 building points. Yeah, you barely got yours built, which is what balanced it out. Well, that was too. my that was my 10 point building. Yeah, that, yeah, I built that first. If you remember, yeah. that's why I didn't get a minion. I think not having the minion really hurt me at this game. Mm -hmm. um, as a group, decide the name of the village and write it on the board. If there are any charters without names, name them now. Oh well. well All right, we have weird. to we have to name the village. Yes. What do we want to name the village? Hmm. That's an interesting. I was not ready for that. No. Dojo. Yes, dojo. 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 Ville. <laughs> dojo Ville. Yeah. Dojo Ville. Dojo Ville. Dojo Villesburg. Oh, and we get the new one. So you did C, correct? Yes. Yes. Uh, 402. New guidepost. Oh, let me slide that over. Uh, have the most buildings in your charter. <laughs> after placing the progress temporary rules, after placing the progress token during game four setup, advance it two spaces as shortening the game. Wow. That goes in the rule book. Okay. Well, that, that becomes our new guidepost. That changes my decision as to what to keep. Yeah. Yeah, doesn't it? That's interesting. So D was the other one? D was the other one. We will never get that card. Do you guys want to know what it is? Uh, nah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that was seven. So now we continue with the game and instructions. In player order, gain VP for reputation and persona cards with the hourglass symbol. I don't believe any of us have the hourglass symbol. Nope. Mm -mm. Glory. Each you said reputation, so I get 10. Oh, reputation, sorry, my bad. So you get 10, Yep. which puts you at 56. Yep, and you each get 7. I get 7, which puts me at 60. Barely, and 7. And 48, which puts you at 55, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, now each player gains glory based on their position on the VP track. 6 glory? Yep. Ooh. And I get 5 glory? Hey, I, 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 filled a, I filled a line. So did I. I think we all did. I. I forget what it does. Which is exactly what I wanted to do. Yes. Right. Two more. What do I want to get? I forget what these do. Uh, the glory? Yeah. Uh, at the end of each game, at the beginning of each game, every completed row of glory gains the grants you the listed bonus. Oh, I may use an extra persona card. Uh, yes, you may select and use one extra persona card. What do you get? Uh, minion. Extra minion, nice. Yes. Well, it allows you to gain a minion at the start. Mm -hmm. So it is not, like it says gain one minion. So at the beginning of the game, I gain a minion. Oh! At the beginning of the game, I gain uh, one of these. Oh, another advancement card? I, I gain an advancement card. Nice! And I still have one more starter mark on um, whatever I want to go next. Hmm. Okay. And I'm going to go two into the advancement cards as well. All right. I'm going two into the minion cards. So I'm one star behind both of you. All right. Winners, the players with the most victory points this game mark their charter chest. Ooh. So you get your second mark on the charter chest. I don't have a mark yet. <laughs> All right, so anybody who was not the winner, increase the capacity for one type of component on your charter chest. I'm filling in my triangle for restaurateur. I am grabbing an extra minion. Must be different types. I love yes. that. Oh, I think I might have screwed that up last time. These are the same type. Oh, yeah, you're right. Y yeah, you can't. You couldn't have brought them, okay. technically speaking. All right. So I'll have to dump one of those. 
Oh man, that would have changed things. Damn it. Alright, so I gain a minion to save. Alright, mark personas you used. So the persona that you used fill in the triangle. Bye bye, perfumer. You don't have to, you could use it again if well, you Well, no, especially to. since I can bring two. Well, that means that it's more likely that you're going to be using, that you're eventually going to be bringing the extras. That's the plan! Uh, based on your capacity, keep some components and discard the rest to the general supply. Um, I got one brick, one gold, one chef. I will keep... I will keep the distillery and the craftsman. And I have to lose one of my buildings. Damn it. I will keep an iron. Uh, which building am I putting away? Gold. And an advancement card. What is this symbol? Uh, that means that you have to put an influence there, but you oh. can put a ref. You can put a token on the reputation track anytime the income comes up. Oh, wow. Yeah, so uh, all income buildings have one influence as part of the cost, so you don't have to spend two influence. It's only one. Yeah. Uh, you place the influence token on the octagonal island icon on the building. Whenever income is activated, gain the benefits indicated in the upper right of each income building where you have an influence token. Okay. So I'm going to dump this. That was that. And then I keep... Oh, my chef. Okay. I think that's it for this game. Yes, that would complete. Uh, wait, um, retrieve all of your player pieces and then clear the board and Matt's full components. Okay, well, thank you for joining us.